I am here at the park um, on a beautiful day in May, and I know I've been a little MIA lately, but that's because I've been in grief. Um, on early in the morning of April 30th, May Day Eve, um, very different upon whom I've known online since before Facebook was even around, since before anyone even knew Facebook, so almost 20 years, um, unexpectedly passed away, and he was so young and in incredible shape for his age. I mean, he was 56, but still, that's so young to, to leave, and my world is I know a lot less bright without him in it. Um, but I decided to do, to do a, a bit of an update because I, I did some um, um, early gardening this weekend that I wanted to show you. Um, looks like there's a bird somewhere in this shelter with me. It's a beautiful day in May. Um, all right, I'm sorry about that. I got cut off because I ran out, ran out of space on my SD card. Um, but yeah, I am. I've I, I, I've been grieving. Um, uh, you know, my world is just a lot brighter without it, without him in it. That's that's for damn sure. Uh, what's really sad is. Um, I had a vision of, of his death about two or maybe even three weeks before he passed. But um, being the Leo that he is, I know that he either would have um, dismissed it, or or you know, um, you know, he he would have found somewhere to, to dismiss it. Besides, he had his own really well established. Um, um, psychic business, you know, in, in, in Michigan. Um, so, um, while I was walking up to the, to, to the park to, um, get a, little, get a little writing done, I thought I would stop up to the post office where I picked up this. And this is going to be a bit of a challenge to get home, but I thought I would do a a uh, box opening video while I am at it. So, let's see what I have got. Alright, lots of packaging. Just what? Oh, hold on. So, uh, something taped together. Uh, oh. uh, it is uh, a minute. Mm. The four volume encyclopedia set of. Well, the Encyclopedia of Witchcraft, the Western Tradition. So I'm assuming by Western Tradition it means um, pretty much the English and American view of witchcraft studies rather than the European view, which is a whole lot different. So I will probably be doing a review on this later on. I'm really excited about that. Um, but I will definitely let you know. Um, just one second, I'm gonna go clean something up. Okay, so I've been digressing. I have been digressing a bit. Uh, this weekend I went, <coughs> excuse me, I went down to Harvey's Greenhouse in Adel, Iowa, and I was so spoiled. Oh my god, they have an entire huge greenhouse solely devoted to herbs of, of ma magical, medicinal, culinary use. Uh, if you're ever near Adel, Iowa, absolutely get out to um, um, Harvey's Greenhouse. I'm, I'm actually curious if they're related to 
Katie Harvey, whom I went to high school with. Um, she's a, um, a, a, um, a musical theater performer, and uh, she, she calls herself an actress. Um, she had a pretty good singing voice, but she was horribly conceited about it. Don't let her know I said that. Uh, but, you know, everyone absolutely thought so. Um, the fact that she got roles in every single high school production, her audition was, was really just a formality. And from what I know, when she got into, coll into the college of her choice, um, her professional career afterwards was literally just a formality. She was going to get the roles. All she had to do was audition. And she's, she's, she's going to get the roles anyway. You know, um, which... On the one hand, I kind of feel sorry for her because nothing was ever really a challenge for her. And I think that if things had been a little more challenging for her, it would have, would have developed her, her personal character a lot more. Because it seems as though when she was unable to get any more roles, um, she just gave up. You know, um, uh, apparently she is the owner of a restaurant now in Adair, Iowa. Or, or no, not Adair, Redfield, Redfield. Uh, which is where I used to go to um, um, some pagan gatherings and I had no idea. If I had known, I probably would have um, stopped by while I was there just to, ch just to check in on her and see what she's, what she's doing. Um, and I've always been curious why her hair is now brown because for as long as I knew her growing up she had not one bit of brown hair on her. I mean it's like dark um dark brown. You know, her hair was always, always blonde, you know, and she was never the sort to um bleach it. In fact, you know, she she was a natural blonde. All all the women in her family are blonde. Yet when she came back from New York City her hair was was as brown as as the earth under my feet, you know, darker even, you know, almost the, the black rich soil color. You know, so um, her hair is still that color, so apparently she must like it. Um, <laughs> I wonder if her husband knows what her real hair color is. Uh, <laughs> but I'm bad, I know. I, I shouldn't say, say such things. But I will let you go for now, and... I will see you when I see you. And thank you for for um, being a part of my life and, and my journey. Take care. So what was it you looking for? I am looking for summer savory. Hmm. Oh, this is psych woman. Onions. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. Um, where would I find the herbs? House number nine. So if you go out that door back there, mm -hmm. it's the next greenhouse that way. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
a number. And we'll get our number. Here we go. Alright, just before I let you guys go, I just wanted to show you this beautiful um, crap apple tree right behind us, and it is, actually it is totally filled with bees right now, pollinating, you can actually slightly hear them humming, so let me just try and give you a bit of a close up. Let me just check that out. Ah, isn't that absolutely stunning? Let's see if I can get a view close up without losing focus. I mean, look at that. Is oh, there's a bee right there, I think. Oh, it is just covered really. in bees. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm getting them though. But I can hear them. There's one up there. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I really wanted, I really wanted you guys to see this before it, um, uh, before it, its glory was over. But, yeah, just check that out. It is absolutely filled with blossoms. And the bees are just having a field day with it. And bees, as you all know, are just wonderful for the earth. Without bees, we would not have food to survive on. Uh, it's just wonderful. And they, they don't really have much of a scent at all. Um, but I, 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 I can see pollen in the air. And and honestly, I think it's it's more the color that has attracted all these bees. You know, apparently, a bee found our tree and did its little dance. And attracted a whole swarm of bees. So I would like to wish you a wondrous belting one and all.
Oh, 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 oh,